What's going on guys? My name is Slaxers and uh yeah, welcome back to another one of these little weird uh narration videos that I do over a battle. Uh, maybe next time I'll have like some surfing or something like that from CSGO or something but I don't want to basically copy Leafy. But yeah, um today I'm going to be talking about something that I basically expressed and saw over um yeah, um, basically going to be talking about the, uh, the 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 causes and the reasons why world hunger exists and why we're all at risk of dying of cancer soon. No, I'm kidding. It's actually because uh, we're going to be talking about whether or not Food Network is racist. Oh. <laughs> so, um, like, I was watching Food Network the other day because I watch it with my family, right? And so I was watching Food Network, and we watch it because, I mean, it's something for all of us to watch, right? I mean, I get to watch people cook, cook, I mean, everybody likes food, right? So, we were watching Food Network, and my mom and I, and that's it, right? Because <laughs> my father's not in my life. Anyways, so, we're watching Food, <laughs> we're watching food Network, and um, one of those little things, Chop Jr. came up, and I was like, okay, Chop Jr. sounds like, sounds pretty lit, um, sounds pretty fun, what, what's going on with Chop Jr.? And then uh, as soon as I like I, I start watching it, I'm like, huh, there are like no black children on this show. So I was thinking to myself, like, why is there no black children? Like there like there has to be at least one black child who's like, oh, I like to cook. I'm pretty sure he doesn't even sound like that, but I'm pretty sure, like, I like to cook, man, like, I like to cook. Alright. First of all, <laughs> that's me blatantly stereotyping my own race, which I probably shouldn't do. But um yeah. <laughs> Um, I don't understand why there isn't, like, more hood, like, chefs out there, you know, like, there is no, like, like, whenever it's, like, the final round, or, or whenever it's, like, the beginning of Chopped, like, we have Chef Sarah, Chef Michael, Chef Steven, and Chef DeMarcus, and then, like, DeMarcus is just, like, this hood-ass, like, dude, who just, like, <laughs> who just, like, has, like, a do-rag, and is, like, his pants are fucking on his ass and shit, but anyways, yeah. Like, I noticed, like, Food Network never exposes, like, it never exposes, like, anybody, like, like, ignorant, like, super ridiculously ignorant, and I, I think it's on purpose, like, I think it's so that way, like, it, it sort of keeps its, its fundamental, like, uh, you know, base, viewer line, whatever, uh, I mean, I don't, I don't object with it, I think, I mean, ignorance is hilarious, so I would probably watch Food Network if it had some ignorant people on there, um, some high-class coonery, but that'd be great, <laughs> Um, by the way, I'm black, so, I mean, it's, it's, I, I don't know if you ever cared, I mean, race is just a thing anyway, I mean, I don't know, race is, okay, I don't really want to talk about race on my channel, um, but how I feel about race is, it's just sort of, it, race is, basically, each and every person has a different sort of pigment due to their adaptability and location near the equator, so that's why black people who are from Africa, who are closer to the equator, have darker skin. So it's really just an adaptation. But the basic human fact is that there will always be racism, there will always be differentiation, there will always be alienation. So it's best to just accept it and move on. I'm not saying that like I condone racism, I'm not saying like go out there and like be racist. Um, but what I'm saying is it's always going to happen, there's always going to be ignorant people it's better to understand it and then continue from there rather than just call everybody who's racist ignorant. I mean, yeah, they are ignorant, but that doesn't mean, like, you know, just sit there and shun them, you know? Uh, I feel like the answer to everything is just understanding, you know? So, um, I want to understand some ignorant coons on Food Network. Like, I don't want to watch a black guy try to beat Bobby Flay. I mean, I understand there's some black guys there, but they're, like, these well-articulate, like, indoor niggers, like, like, <laughs> like me, like... <laughs> Like, I don't want to see me on there. I want to see, like, Jamarcus up there. I, I don't want to, I want to see him, like, cook up, like, a trap meal, like, or just some ramen noodles <laughs> and some, like, chicken thighs or something. I don't know. Oh, man, this is getting really racist. But, <laughs> um, yeah, you know, like, I, I, I don't understand why they're, like, why these other, like, channels and why these shows don't expose different sorts of cultures and different sorts of realities, because, trust me, there are, oh, there are ignorant people out there, there are plenty of ignorant cooneries out there, like, I'm pretty sure you walk down your street and you'll see at least, t oh, I, okay, I don't know about that, but, um, yeah, there are plenty of ignorant people out there, so I don't know why Food Network doesn't, like, ever, like, hire a Jamarcus or a Dewar or, like, a fucking Ella Juan or something, I don't know, you know, like, there's no reason for them to ever be, like, straight up, like, you know, we don't want ignorant coons on our channel. Like, it's the same channel that Paula Dean was on. So I, I, I get that. <laughs> She's the queen racist. But yeah, guys. Um, 
that's sort of that's sort of it. Um, that's all I really wanted to talk about. Just a random bullshit video. Uh, normal uploads will come back unless you guys happen to like these, in which case you know I can keep doing them. I know today's was a little blue collar, or not blue collar. It's a little little risque, but uh, if you guys did enjoy me, please be sure to drop a like. I don't know if you all did, but <laughs> uh, if you did drop a like. Um, basically, I'm, in this video, I'm actually using Telly's, uh, I believe this is his sub-CM, sub-CM Celebi set, uh, sub-CM Celebi team, which is pretty cool. Um, I'll actually do a PS Live with this soon, so, uh, yeah, but anyways, guys, if you did enjoy, please sure to drop a like, follow me on Twitter if you ever do want to get a battle with me, and I'll see you guys later. Stay selecty, I'm out.